The name of that song is called St. James Infirmary Blues. It dates back to uh, about the 1920s. Louis Armstrong is credited for introduce it and make it a popular hit in 1928. So it goes back a ways. Previous titles for the song were uh, the, the Gambler's Song uh, or the Gambler's Blues. The, um, the reason I played this for you is that I made an arrangement as a kind of a, a study on how you can incorporate a bass line or a set of chords to be able to accompany a blues song. This blues song is only eight bars. Traditionally, most blues songs are, uh, are 12 bars in length. I added a section to make this blues etude with a contrasting section. Um, and you'll see a little bit later in this video that is to allow you to be able to get to the higher position to do the pentatonic scale. In past videos, I've been trying to uh, kind of present to you the pentatonic scale as a good way to improve your technique, but also to get to know your fretboard and to learn some of the patterns of the pentatonic scale across the fretboard. There are five patterns, and so we covered that in a previous video. This piece became very, very popular, and I uh, am using it to try to help you get an idea how you can take a blues melody and incorporate some of the harmony by using bass notes. So let's take a look at how this works. We start with an E minor chord. Now it's just going to move over and up. Four strings with that one and back down. And then you're back to the first chord. The first two measures just are doing one, two, three. Right here, second ending, we have a melody. And now we only have one bass note. From this point on, I only have a, a single bass note. You could add the other chord tones if, as you get more comfortable with this. Uh, you'll have those as a reference, but the idea is to, can you play the melody and the bass notes so you get a feeling that both the harmony and the chords are being represented. So let's try it one more time from the very beginning. One, two, three, E minor, D with F sharp. Don't forget the second string. Back, repeat, D chord. Now, and that I'm using A, M, A. You could use M, I, M. And we've got just bass notes, which are going to continue to do. Yep. And then at the very end, it will change to A, a B, and an E back to that vamp. And so forth. So the tricky part is is the melody. So let's just try the melody by itself. So the melody by itself on the fourth bar goes Let's try that again. Second string open, third string open, second string open. So lots of open strings for the first uh, four notes. The second finger for the note A and the second finger is going to go over to the note E so it'll come in on beat four let's try that one two three the next one is almost the same it's going to, it's going to change a little bit but you're going to have an E and a C and then an open B so you'll have It's going to repeat back. That's the same as the first two bars. And 
and now different here. Two E's and the G B flat and the B flat if you want to bend it a little bit. There's your blues note. Yeah. So let's take it slow. Let's take it slow. Try it from the very beginning. I'll add the bass notes underneath. Um, and then we'll show you how you have to practice that part. One, two, three. flat okay so now how do you practice this number one you work on the melody first and watch the counting and then after you've done that you can take a look at the bass notes bass notes for the first uh, six bars of with the melody this hands gonna be moving up and back down when we go for the note G will move the hand up and then we'll move the hand down from F sharp to G. But there are lots of open strings in this melody. So you got open B, open G, open B, and two notes together, two notes together. Now you're going to put three and two down and you'll have an eighth note, bass note. So that's going to be three and four. Measure six. Your second finger's up here. Three and four. Now open E and the note C. That's a bit of a stretch. And now you're going to move your hand up and back down to the F sharp. Open B, just like the beginning. Slide up again. And here you're going to get the fifth string open. Now put your second finger down on B and your fourth finger on B flat. And now the note A and G and E. repeat back to the very very uh, well not to the very very big to the second system okay so if you want to repeat the melody twice that's the way to do it there'll be another section in just a second here but let's review what we just did so the introduction is are these chords and then they're repeated Good. Now the second section begins with an A minor seventh chord, which you can play with just one finger. You're going to hit the fifth string, third string, second string, and first string. The P I M A two times. As There's a rest on beat two, so you have to put your fingers back down, and then you go up to seventh fret, and we've got that the scale that's going to be part of the pentatonic scale in E minor up here, the note B, the note A with the fourth finger on the second string, second string eighth fret with the second finger, the note E with the third finger on the third string ninth fret, 
and then back to the note G. So we got B, A, G, E, G, G, and then the note A. That will sound with that tempo. Yeah. And you have to get it up quick. Now you've got two open, the E minor chord, and it's all open strings, sixth string, third string, second string, and first string. And that's going to go up to here. Third string, ninth fret, E, G, A, and now the note B flat, which is going to be one fret higher than the note A. That'll be on the 11th fret. And you slide down. And now the note G and E. So that'll sound. Now you have another choice. You could bend that string. But that's a little bit harder. Yep. So let's try it one more time. The E minor chord. One, two, three, four. A minor seventh again. Same thing. And then we've got a B seventh chord. The note B. The C seventh chord. And I'd stop those chords. gently with the flesh of your hand on the guitar to carry it a rhythm two three four and then you're right back to the beginning okay so let's try it from the top from the very beginning we'll do it slow and then uh, I'll play it through all the way through so you can hear what it sounds like one two three four seventh chord two three four and you're right back to the beginning now we can fill those chords in
Thus concludes this lesson. I hope that you have some fun with this. I know there was a lot of fancy stuff that I added kind of at the end, uh, but I hope that inspires you to take what you've learned about the pentatonic scale and mess around a little bit with it. Try to see if you can add a few more notes to the chords. See if you can create your own melody uh, that will be different than the original St. James Infirmary Blues. Best wishes. Make sure if you have a question, write it in the comment section below or email me. Again, have a good week of practice.